YGSF has finally come to Dubai and I've come to the Harper's Bazaar Cafe to chat with the wonderful Eugenie, who is an amazing blogger doing incredible things in Dubai at the moment. So welcome to YGSF Thank TV. You so much. What was your journey into blogging? Uh, my journey into blogging started 12 years ago in Russia. I was writing just about, uh, you know, like just girly things about the feelings, about what's going on outside and I never posted my pictures. And uh, at some point I started to date my husband and uh, he became a photographer. And he was like uh, taking picture of me and I'm like, okay, I can, I can post something. I started to post my pictures and people actually, they liked it more, you know, like when it was the text and the pictures. And yeah, that's how it started. So how did you then end up going from Russia to Dubai? It was a long journey from uh, Russia to Dubai as well, because at some point I changed my blog from just writing about feelings to like kind of fashion blog because I got a lot of uh, collaborations, like it was fashion collaborations, but I was traveling a lot. And at some point I realized that I want to live somewhere else, mm -hmm. like not in Russia. One day I just came to Dubai because Dubai Tourism invited me here and uh, I was like, I have to live here. <laughs> and now it's four years that I'm living here and I'm so happy. I think it was my best decision in my life. So when you came to Dubai, was it quite difficult because of the language barrier? How did you think of English? When I moved to Dubai, I didn't speak English at all, but uh, my passion for Dubai and my love for Dubai made me learn it so fast. So it took me like six months to learn English and find my first clients and start to work as a social media consultant. So where did you get all your inspiration from then, for your blog posts and for your Instagram? I'm uh, getting inspiration from my followers because they know what they want, you know, like, and they ask me a lot of questions and in my blog I'm trying to answer their questions. My biggest inspiration is 90s. I love, I love it so much. That's why, like, uh, I'm always trying to find new editorials, like, really rare to find, uh, like, this kind of inspiration. I wanted to ask you, because you just mentioned fashion magazines, what do you think about them? Do you think they're dying out because social media is now so popular and it's where everyone goes? Look, I think that social media is definitely changing the fashion game and it's changing not only fashion, it's changing like our lives. The, I'm pretty sure that the magazines, like the strongest one with a big history, they will be they will be good because, you know, like for example, it's a big difference between magazines and the social media. Mm -hmm. When people, they look at the magazines, they know that it's not a real life, but they want just some inspiration. They understand that those models, that's not real people, they have a shop that it's it's different. Do you think then social media has created a lot of problems for people, especially young girls, you know, in terms of how they feel in themselves, their body, their makeup, extra pressures? Yeah, I think it has two sides. For me, I use uh, like some profiles of the really fit girl as an inspiration because, you know, like I want to go, I want to work out, mm -hmm. I want to look like them, I want to put makeup, I want to like care more about myself but I know that for the teenagers or for the young girls it just make them not uh, not confident in themselves and it's a huge problem nowadays for the social media I know how many girls committed suicide because they cannot be up to the standard mm -hmm. and uh, yeah that's a huge problem but I think we cannot do anything with it what advice would you give to people um, starting out in this industry you know, whether it be bloggers or Instagram influencers or even people wanting to go into fashion journalism First of all, be yourself. Second of all, you need to do a really good content. You need to find a photographer. You need to have a team. If you want to do like really good blog or Instagram, you need a team. You cannot do everything by yourself. And that's the main point, like how to be the best. You know, like you always need to be the best in the industry. And you need at least to try. So we finished our smoothies and our chat. Um, and now Eugenia is going to go and take me to her one of her favorite concept stores in Dubai and show me around. So, let's go. Let's go. such a cool store. I've never been here before so I've always liked to have with things. But seeing as we're in a fashion store, how would you describe the style? Usually I wear more feminine things, you know, like because 90s is a big inspiration mm -hmm. for me and I really like oversized tops. I like the base belt yeah. kind of like what they're wearing today, you know, like the prints, like mm -hmm. all the dots and I love it so much. You get a lot of inspiration from the 90s, you said, which I love because I love the inspiration from those like vintage eras. Do you have a style icon for? 
of rectangular. Mm -hmm. And for the yeah. other, obviously they're not organizers, it's so yeah. they're beautiful pieces, but I love their style. I'm really excited because you said that you've got some outfits that you want to show me, and I don't normally get styled by anyone, so I'm li leaving my fate what? over to you. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> So cool, I love it. And I wanted to wear this bag. Oh my god, that's amazing. Yeah. The pajama style. It's made by two sisters, Polka Zarazzi. I love, love it. it. Yeah, I love it. It's super like soft as well. But I love like pajama suits. I think they're really cool. And then you can like dress it up with like a bag or something. But you can't hide anything in here. If you've got anything naughty, you can't hide it. Why you chose this look for me then? The dress which you're wearing, it's by a designer and something I sent. You can always use it like this fabric, like the French cord. Mm -hmm. She likes the uh, ruffles. Yeah, I love the sleeves especially. And I like it because it's not something that I would ever think of yeah. myself. And sometimes I need like a push for someone to be like, Talita, don't have to wear <laughs> colours all the time. You can wear a babe. Yeah, I like the trench coat vibe because when you first showed it to me. I was like, is that a trench coat? Yeah. So yeah, I really like it. And oh, what about the earrings? Uh, the earrings, it's the designer on the glasses roll. <laughs> and the bag, I think it's the latest brand. We used to wear these for skiing and now they're in fashion, yeah. like normally just walking around. So it's really it's cool. So cool. <laughs> Favourite Dubai restaurant? Duma. What's your star sign? Cancer. What item of clothing couldn't you live without? Maybe a shabra. Would you rather live of chocolate or chicken? Chocolate. Favourite city in the world? Dubai. Pink or black? Older. Would you rather be covered in jelly or ice cream? Ice cream. Hot and crazy from Boston Rollins. Thank you so much, Eugenia, for an amazing day, for having smoothies with me and talking rubbish and not rubbish Ooh. and for styling me in this amazing store cartel thank you so much for it was a really nice time and i hope to see you soon definitely let's shake on that <laughs>